So, so when you when you pick the fruit, you've got a certain level of, of malic acidity, and in some vintages, it has been um, uh, it has dropped out more than others. And then once the the fruit comes in, you could have higher malics than others, and that uh, can contribute in the mouthfeel to a much higher pH. If you have like say a vintage, this is something talking with Roland Souls. You have a vintage like 2007, you bring in fruit, really high malic acidity. Uh, people will actually add a little bit of acid because that shift being such high malic acidity, you're gonna have a pH shift in the wine to where a lot of that acid's gonna drop out. So it's really critical to try and pick your fruit at the perfect time to where that malic acidity is as low uh, as possible so you don't have these massive pH shifts and then you get wines that are generally unstable when they go to bottle. Um, but during the malolactic shift you have a basically a malic um, bacteria that comes in and shifts that malic acid to a lactic acid softening up the wine. Some folks will inhibit malic uh, or malolactic fermentation to retain that acidity to get that freshness but in some cases, certain vintages, you want that shift so that it softens out the wine. Case in point, a vintage like 2011, where you've got incredibly high malic, so getting that malolactic fermentation really softens up the wines, uh, but hopefully not to a point to where they're too soft. Um, uh, in general, we're looking for picking at a pH of, you know, 3.1 to 3.15, and then hopefully at the final end, once everything goes through, you're sitting at about 3.4 to 3.45, which I feel is a perfect point of balance, especially in, in Pinot Noir. In whites, I like it much lower uh, just for, for cut and precision. So.